This is the guy to George Outdoors, and you are looking at the face of someone pretty jealous. I'm talking about him right there. Tell them why you're jealous. I got suckered into coming trying to catch bass. He brought the beetle spin and he tore up the red breast. Tore up the red breast. And so, I, I had to resort to beetle spin fishing with the old bait caster. He, uh, we, we came to fishing today. It's one of our first fishing trips in the river all year. And uh, I had enough sense to fish with the, uh, the rooster tails, the beetle spins, the spin dandies, that kind of stuff. He brought his bass rig. Um, 10 minutes in, I had red breast, so he gave up all the... Uh, he gave up with the bass and started going for the red breast as to well. To be honest, I feel like he kind of baited me I in. kind of baited him in there. That way we, he wouldn't be competing with me today. It was a pretty good trip. It wasn't a record-breaking day by any means, but it was our first trip of the year. So now we know what the fish are biting that they're here. So we'll probably be back in here in the next couple of days. But we're going to take you back to the beginning of the fishing trip where his jealousy started and I started catching the fish. All right, we are down here. We got the river right here. We got a creek coming in. Usually at the mouth of these creeks is where I do pretty good, but I can go ahead and tell you, that's gonna be slick. And these little shoes I got on, don't have much tread on them. But these mouths of these creeks, I usually do pretty dang good. Got my brother with me, he's down there going after bass. And that works out pretty good, because if he gets a bite, something that he feels ain't a bass he can let me know and i can usually get in there and uh pull a pull a fish out if it's a red breast or something i gotta get my cast just right over there that ain't just right i can can tell i'm fresh in the year because my accuracy is a little bit off There he is. There he is. Knew he was in there. That's, that's the spot. That's why you got to make those casts count when you get those little spots. Yeah, red breast. Pretty good one, too. Look at that. Yep. I can already tell Bailey's got regrets. He is fishing for bass today, and I'm fishing for uh, this right here. And he's, look at him. He's already got the regret all over him. That's pretty right there. And I'm going to tell you something. He ain't getting thrown back either, because I can fillet that off. That is a good fish, and I, I'm reluctant to use the word a sweet tasting fish, but it really is. It's a good tasting fish. Beautiful. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. That's, got a, that's a rod bender right there rod bender and look right there you may not be able to see this but if you look over there there's my brother on the other side of this fish and he is covered with jealousy right now because he's over there fishing a uh, trick worm which we love our bass fishing but this is what i came for today and already two perfect specimen of what i come here for beautiful fish bright red color I wouldn't mind keeping me about 10 or so of these today. There he is, right there. Right there. This one's a little bit smaller. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that one back, but that just shows you how pretty they are. Right there. If you watch some of my other videos, You'll see I caught some of these in a different river over at High Falls, but they have nowhere near the color like they do in this really dark water. Let them go so they can grow. I'm having to get my throws like deep into cover to get these fish. Like that right there, come on. I'm basically a bird dog. I think I had too much hook in that last one to get him. There's a deep channel right there. There he is, right there. There he is. What we got? What we got? Nope, he was a bass. Look at him. That's why <laughs> that was what was messing with you. You pushed me off. Right there. I gave you plenty of attempts there.
This is a new tree down right here. That look like a breeding ground for rattlesnakes. Right now? There we go. What we got? What we got? What we got? Watch it be my bass. Uh-uh. That's my breast of red. That is my breast of red. It's a pretty one there. Look at this right here. The fish is pretty. But that face right there on the other side of this fish, I don't know if you can see it, pure jealousy. Especially when I'm trying to fast fish. And... One bass is equal to five or six sometimes. Right, he's on, he's on there, here he is, got him out. He was behind that, he was behind something. There he is. What else you got in there? Well, I'm gonna change out. I'm wasting my time with this. You got another one of them? Yeah. Please tell me you can see that right there. But look here, at least he ain't too prideful to ride it out the rest of the day. And beetle spin fish with a bait caster. Oh. There he is. That's a bass. Yeah. Not interested in him today. Now, I like a bass, but. This is too small, and I'm here for the big fish. The boys and berries just dipped. I know that's got to have a about a hundred snakes in there. One of the best times I'm, one of my best experiences of, of fishing was with him one time and uh, there was a, me and him were walking on a log and a snake got wrapped up around his foot and he couldn't find it and I seen it and I pointed to where the snake was but he didn't see my point and he jumped right on top of the snake. Oh man. Which way? I, was, I didn't know whether it was going forward or back. <laughs> and you jumped right, you jumped right, on, you jumped right on top of him. <laughs> there he is. That's a good one there. That's a good one. That's a better fish. That's a fat one there. Talking fat. That ain't no, that ain't no, uh, Ooh. look what a crappy. My goodness. That's a slab. Yes, sir. We don't really usually catch a whole lot of these in here, but. That's a sure enough crappy. slab. Oh, yeah. And a river crappy is a lot better eating to me than a uh, pond crappy. Well, I might have not brought the beetle spin, but I had enough sense to bring a, uh, Stringer. I got fish in my back pocket right now. Yeah, throw him in my backpack. Right there, right there. What? Okay, another pretty one. Dark color on there. All been about the same size, and look here, they do get these a lot bigger. But for this river, that is actually a pretty good size red breast. Mm -hmm. I always think you miss the simple things. Like if, somebody, if, if you're a hundred millionaire and you want to go fishing, you're finding you a charter. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. Right there, right there, right there. Look, I don't know if you heard that conversation, but I can tell you this. When I, when I make my first $100 million, to all my YouTube fans out there, <laughs> when I make my first $100 million, you're still going to find me in this river fishing like this. Me too. What's he makes his first million? <laughs> Who's that? Oh. There we go, a little bass. There's actually three bass we've caught today. That's the biggest one. caught any of those with a trick worm. Nah, they're all pretty small. Well, 
knew it was gonna happen eventually. Like a big old alligator fell in there. And nothing slicker than river mud. Nothing. Nothing. I can't think of anything. Oh, there's gonna be some fish right there. You got slower moving water. What? I ain't watching move. Oh, right there, right there. That's a pretty good fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It might be my heaviest fish of the day. Oh, look at that. Look at that one. Look at that right there. I don't want to drop him because look at that. That's a pretty fish. Nope. That's what happens when you come and steal somebody's hole. Get yeah, home. Huh? All right, we are back at the skin rack in uh Pretty good day. We kept maybe eight fish, but we only fished for maybe like an hour or so. It was kind of a last minute decision to go fishing. And we were really just going out there to see if the fish had moved up into the creek and were biting pretty good. But uh, I need you to help me out. I need you to leave a comment below and help me because uh, if you have a brother or if you know me and my brother, we're extremely competitive. I caught all the red breast. He caught one crappy. And yes, it was the biggest fish of the day. But who outfished who? Uh, we didn't have a big fish competition. We just had a just a generic, no rule stated fishing competition competition so comment below did i win or did my brother win like any of my bass i like to come right here behind the gill plate with the uh electric fillet knife go down till you feel the spine you don't want to cut through that it's a thinner fish than a bass so you got to be real careful turn the the uh, blade 90 degrees going towards the tail and work it down flip it over Sorry about that, it knocked the uh, camera over. Right there. Pretty little filet. It's small, but it is a delicious filet. All right, we got all the fish filleted out. We end up with eight red breasts and one crappy. Now that's just what we kept, we threw some back. Won't be doing a catch clean cook in this video for two reasons. Number one, we got crawfish right now soaking. We're about to go eat some crawfish, so I don't need to cook these tonight. And number two, we're gonna turn these into fish tacos. Since I don't have a whole lot of fillets, we're gonna use like a tempura batter, uh, kind of make the fish go a little further and make fish tacos. And I've already got a really good uh, fish taco video that I'll put in the description below. So if you wanna see how we would cook those, you can check that video out. But it was a great short last minute spur of the moment kind of fishing trip. I'll be in there in the next couple days uh, loading up my stringer. But until the next video, I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that subscribe button. And this has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guide, George Outdoors.